Hey guys, it is Thursday, week 11 of this build. Now if you missed my midweek special, I did a week 10.5 on these new Axial R35 BFG uh, crawler tires, just like the stock ones that come on, but much stickier. So if you missed that, go back and check out that video and you can see a little bit of what I did. But anyway, now we are on to week 11 and this week is going to be all about transmission upgrades. So since I added these stickier tires, that's going to add more stress to our drivetrain. Now to combat that, I'm going to start by beefing up my transmission. This week, my parts came from Rick at Supershafty.com. Rick, thanks a million for all you do. And uh, I'm going to start with the basics of upgrading your transmission uh, in the goal of eventually building up a bomb-proof transmission, something that's completely bulletproof that'll take any power plant you wanna throw in this truck. What this week is going to be is going to be a steel gear upgrade as well as Rick's ultimate motor plate. Now, the steel gear upgrade. Inside the transmission normally, you have your, uh, your three gears. The top gear is a metal gear from the factory, but this is not an extremely strong gear. This is used, this is built by a, uh, a process called sintering, so it can be a little bit more brittle. However, they do well for most conditions. Um, then you have your idler gear here in the middle, and finally your final gear. This transmission that I have opened up here already has a uh, metal final gear put in there, uh, but that is a aluminum Robinson Racing version. Now, being that I want to, in the end, have a bomb-proof transmission, I want to replace all three of these with a steel version, not an aluminum version. So, I'm going to use, like I said, the hot racing. Normally, I avoid hot racing parts, but I've ran these gears before, Rick's ran them a bunch, and they actually hold up pretty well. Now the reason that I'm going with the full gear set like this and not uh, one of the gear sets from somebody like Robinson Racing that is a one-piece final drive, I'm not a big fan of those one-piece bottom gears. Uh, a lot of people end up breaking the ends off and it's just not the best setup. You can end up using this type of gear and then bolting on the larger chromoly style outputs. Uh, that give you more options. So this is the style that I recommend. Lastly, that motor plate. The stock motor plate runs a setup like this. Your motor bolts to this plate and this plate lays over top of a plastic cover that has your spacers built into it and that is what spaces it off the transmission and then your spur gear cover fits around this whole piece. Rick's new version is just one step better. It is uh, just a hair thicker on the material, but the big improvement is the, the addition of this hole over here, which catches another hole on the transmission to help keep this motor plate just rock solid. That's gonna be the bulk of our upgrades, so I'm gonna start by dropping the skid plate out, unbolting the transmission, and getting those upgrades put in there. Okay, now we've got a uh, mess of transmission parts here. If you're not as familiar with the transmission, you might want to take it apart more orderly than I just did. I just kind of threw things around. I, I built plenty of these that I, I remember <laughs> how they all go together. But anyway, uh, so we are swapping out that stock bottom gear. And like I was saying, the reason that I like going to a gear replacement rather than a full one piece unit is because of the options for beefier output shafts at the end. Now, something new that also has just come out from Rick is these Wraith versions of these beefy outputs. Now, you can compare them to those stock units and you can see, you know, the, uh, the material in here isn't where the added strength is, it's out here at the end where this is a six millimeter output rather than the stock five millimeter. And then this is also made out of chromoly rather than a regular steel. So these are incredibly strong and that added diameter really adds the strength. Uh, I will not be putting these on this week, they're not in the budget yet, but uh, down the road this is definitely going to be an option for this truck. 
uh, with the kind of power that we will inevi inevitably put For in. For now, we are going to install our stock outputs onto this steel gear. As you can see, this I use a regular bearing grease here. Got this at the local auto parts store, probably 10 bucks. Uh, there's, I don't really see a need to buy any special RC branded grease or anything like that. Uh, I've got I've had no problems using this, and it's la this tub has lasted me probably five years or better. And I've used it around the house for, you know, greasing up the garage door tracks and things like that. So it uh, it will last any RC or quite some time. All right, now onto the motor plate. What we're doing is we're replacing, again, the stock motor plate and the uh, plastic spur gear cover with the molded in spacers. So before, your bolts came in through the back of the transmission and then threaded into this motor plate. The nice addition on Rick's plate is that he uses a countersunk screw that goes in through the front through a machined aluminum spacer that goes on behind that through the transmission and then locks down with a lock nut. This allows you to torque things down a little bit better on the transmission rather than having to rely on the tapped aluminum motor plate that comes with the truck. This just gives you a little bit better peace of mind and a little bit stronger hold on everything. All right guys, transmission upgrades are all done. Motor bolted up to the new motor plate nicely. The transmission gears are spinning smoothly inside. We should have a transmission that will hold up to a decent amount of power and uh, take any hard binds or shock loads that we'll have uh, with the conditions of the current truck. So uh, gonna get this thing bolted all back into the Wraith and we will be ready to run this weekend where we've got a, a little scale comp here in Kansas City. So um, subscribe to the channel. Check out the videos every Thursday on this project, unless I have a special one like last week. Again, if you missed that, go back at a midweek special. Uh, but other than that, we will see you guys next week for week number 12, and I'll have something new again, uh, a little bit different style because of the upgrades that I'm going to be doing. So we will see you guys then.